Every day, people on Main Street get up and they read about one banking scandal after another, something or the other going on in the financial sector. So JP Morgan was one of those banks, very few banks that came out of the crisis looking relatively all right. And, uh, and we believed in Jamie Dimon and we believed in JP Morgan. And then we have the JP Morgan scandal. Before it's over, we have the LIBOR scandal. It's just every day or every few weeks, there seems to be a problem in the financial sector that shouldn't have been happening. Uh, are our executives not in control? Do they not know what's going on at their firms? How does this happen? At Georgetown, we really have very good access to people, to policymakers, so we are always talking to them. At the same time, we are always talking to market participants. And that drives our research. That drives the kind of analysis that we are doing. So, so it's really impactful work. And uh, I think we're in a very unique situation to make a difference. And that, that is what uh, the Georgetown Center for Financial Markets and Policy is trying to do. And in a very short time frame, we've been able to have a huge impact on uh, our financial markets. Recently, I've been focusing on global corporate governance, and uh, my work has shown that corporate governance really matters, not just in the United States, but globally, corporate governance really matters. The financial markets really care about corporate governance. So then the question is, what drives good corporate governance? And uh, again, my research is showing that corporate governance is driven both by regulation and by market participants. And, and there's a third pillar that firms drive it. Some firms have very good corporate governance and the market actually rewards these firms. The old process used to be, if you don't like a company, you sell the shares and you get out. But now institutional investors are taking a much more active approach. If I don't like something at the firm, I'm going to go around helping to bring about changes at the firm. Uh, most recently, we've seen a number of CEO compensation packages not being approved by uh, shareholders. They're saying, no, based on the performance of these companies, these compensation packages are not appropriate, and so we're going to vote against them. Uh, another thing our research is showing that boards have become a lot more active. The boards are not just aligning up with the CEO, but the boards are really paying attention to uh, shareholders. What is good for the firm, what's good for the shareholders, and not just about what's good for a few people. Yeah, our point of view at Georgetown is unique because uh, after all, we are located in what has become the global financial hub. So we have access to people who are making the decisions. And uh, we, we are constantly in conversation with them. And th that's a huge benefit of being at Georgetown, being in Washington, and that guides our research. So we are interacting so much with the policymakers, with the decision makers, that really guides our research and makes it a lot more relevant. So it's not just ivory tower kind of research, but it's really what are the issues, what are the problems, and how do we tackle those problems? Uh, so, so I think in that sense, it really makes our research a lot more impactful and, uh, and relevant for uh, society at large. I'm Rena Agarwal. I am uh, the Robert Emmett McDonough Professor of Business Administration and Professor of Finance. I'm also the director of our Georgetown Center for Financial Markets and Policy.